Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another tips and tricks video from Switch. My name is Kent and in this particular video, we're going to cover Swift Playgrounds for iPad on iOS 10. And I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to show this to you. So let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing on my screen is my iPad running iOS 10. So we're going to show you about Playgrounds, a free app from Apple that allows you to learn how to do programming as well as perhaps do some coding while on the go. And before we begin, you might be wondering, where do I get Swift Playgrounds? Well, let's go to the App Store. Type SWIFT inside your search and usually the first result will be Swift Playground from Apple as you can see on the screen on the upper left corner here. Let me go inside it. So it's a free application and as the description say, it's a new app for iPad that makes it fun to learn and experiment with code. And it comes with interactive tutorials to help you get started as well as an area for you to experiment and try out different codes. So we have already downloaded it. Let's try it out. Let me launch Swift Playgrounds right now. So right off the bat, you can see that it shows you a featured area with all the codes, all the type of tutorial you can use. Now, something for you to understand is for each of these sections you see here, learn to code one, challenges, whichever you tap, you need to download it first. So you have to wait for it to download before you can actually proceed. But once it's downloaded, it's always on your iPad. So you can use it anywhere you go. Right now, let me open learn to code number one. So if you always wondered how to do programming and coding, this series of Learn to Code 1 and 2 will guide you through step by step on what is the command. And it gives you a very, very good explanation. So if you have never done coding before, just follow the instructions, learn from it, and you, you can actually understand this because they are all made in layman's instructions that you will really, really understand. So follow the instructions and you can get started. And that's what I'm going to do. Right now, let me just go ahead, let me skip all this, and I'm going to go into the activity area, which is going to happen. Let's start coding. So right now, we add our first challenge. Look for the gem in the puzzle world, and the correct combination of move forward and collect gem, and then tap to run my code. Now, I've already completed it by putting this three commands followed by a collect gem, and that will allow me to control the character that you see inside this world to go forward and collect the gem. So, move forward should be three times actually. So let me just tap move forward, MO, so move forward, auto complete. Okay, that's it. Let me run the code. And right now, that character will walk up in front, walk up in front, walk up in front, and then jump to collect the gem. That's it. So that's the first line of Swift. So ladies and gentlemen, you just follow the instructions, go to the next page, and continue learning. As simple as that. To get back out of this tutorial, you can tap on the upper left corner of the screen, and you can see that I'm in my playground, and I've already downloaded Learn to Code 1, Learn to Code 2, Drawing Sound, Brick Breaker, Battleships, Blink, and so much more. All this are useful tutorials to teach you how to code. Now, what if you say you want to create your own code? Very simple. Tap on the plus button and you're given a choice of templates. You want something blank, you want the answer, you want graphing, you want shapes. Whichever it is, you just choose one. So once you are inside your playground, you have an empty sheet where you can tap on the screen once and you can start typing what you want to code. You'll notice that at the bottom, it includes some very common commands that you can use. So let's say I want to create something. Let me just put let, and it gives you a suggestion that you need a name with a value. So let's say I want to have a number, and the value here will be the number two. Okay, let me use the number two. Okay, cool. So that is now my first command. I want to print the number two. So how to do that? I need to say, type the word print. So let me just type P-R-I-N-T. And you can see that it gives you some examples of what you're supposed to key in. So you can actually write your code inside here 
and you can actually tap run my code to see what's going to happen. So right now, let me just see if I can finish this up. Print number. Okay, I've forgotten to add a bracket over there. Oops. Okay, number. Ah, uh, done. Let me run my code. So technically it works, but I can't see it. So how should I do? I swipe from my right and I open a visual viewer. In or alternatively, you can tap on your code and it gives you an option to add a viewer. So in this case, when I run the code, you will print out the number two. If I change the value two to maybe something else, let's say zero, and I run the code, it should print out the number zero. Okay, and over here, you can actually learn the concept of how to code all inside your iOS device on the iPad. So I hope that this is interesting. So if you always wanted to do coding on the go with Apple's newest language called Swift, you can now do it on iOS 10 thanks to Swift Playgrounds. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you find this video is useful and helpful. So support us on social media, like us, Follow us and subscribe on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and so much more. Give us your comments and suggestions. We hope that you like this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Ken saying bye.